All right, we're rolling. Good. All right, let's do it. So we're going to get the upper body and lower body warmed up with a walking squat thrust. Now, on this walking squat thrust, I want you to hold each position for one full second. So we're actually using it as a stretch. So for the walking squat thrust, you're basically going to squat down here to your hands, your feet, step your right leg back, hold for a second, step your left leg back, hold for a second, step your right leg in, hold for one, left leg in, hold for one, lift my head and chest is up the whole time, and then just stand up. We're going to repeat that again. I'll do it from the side view just so you can see it. So I'm going to squat down. This time you're going to do your left leg first. Left leg, hold for a second. So at that time, I'm stretching that hip out. Right leg, hold for a second here. Left leg coming back in, hold and stretch that right hip. Right leg in, hold and hit that squat, and then just come up. So let's do that at your own pace. A walking squat thrust. Each rep, each rep, make sure you're alternating which side is going first. So you're not just doing the same side over and over. So you're just squatting down, step back with one. Don't forget, full second holds. That should be one second. Really should be a second to get down there. One second, two, three, hold for four, five, six, hold for seven, up for eight. So it should be a long count rep. We're just trying to strengthen up, warm up that upper body, your chest, your shoulders, triceps, your hips, glutes, quads. One second per movement and one second per hold just to get everything rolling and get some blood flow through there, get that chest, shoulder, tricep, everything loosened up, warmed up, ready to roll. So again, squat it down, step back with one, step back with the other, step in, in, stand it up tall, stand it up strong, right there. Perfect, keep going, let's get two more, one more on each side. Make sure your head is up and your chest is out while you're squatting down. You don't want to lean over at the waist. So make sure your head is up, chest is out while you're squatting down there. It's nice and slow. It's gonna be a strength day here, so you're doing plenty of getting those muscles pumped up. So we need to get all those muscles warmed up. All right, now we're gonna go with a quad stretch. You're gonna stretch, hold it for two seconds. So ease it down, hold the other side for two seconds. Bring the knee up to your chest, hold for two seconds. Control it down, other knee up for two seconds. Bring it down, rotate between those. So it's gonna be quad, quad, knee hug, knee hug, but just two seconds each. Let's keep it rolling. So get that stretch, that hip flexor, that quad. At the same time, you're warming up this leg that you're standing on. Keep the knee slightly bent for those two seconds and stand on it, because there is gonna be some single leg stuff you're gonna do today. So hold that there. So at the same time of stretching this side, you're warming up this side, getting ready for the work. And then the same thing on the knee hug. At the same time, I'm stretching this hip and glute. I'm warming up the leg that I'm standing on. So you're just going through it nice and slow. Get that stretch. Two second hold each. Keeping it moving. Keeping it rolling. So it's quad, quad, knee hug, knee hug. Go rotate through that one more time. Bring that heel to the glute, try to go nice and slow so you're not wobbling around. You want to bring that leg to your body, not your body down to the leg. And good. Let's get a quick chest stretch. You're going to put your hands right on your glutes like this, fingers spread. And all you're going to do is lean over at the waist, bend your knees a little bit, and then come up. Just tighten and straighten your hips out. Just squeeze your glutes. Don't arch your back. Just keep your other eye straight when you get a stretch in the chest and shoulders. So just lean over at the waist. Straighten it out of the top. See, I'm straight, barely leaning back. Maybe leaning back a fraction, but definitely don't, don't arch your back and hyperextend your back. It's just to breathe out when you come up, just to open that shoulder up. We've been doing some good chest press, some alternating chest press. So you want to get those shoulders ready to move in different directions and chest ready to move in different directions. Let's get two or three more of those. Get the nose down, breathe it out. So you're leaning over the waist just a little bit while you bend the knees, extend that hip. All you're doing is pushing your hips straight forward to get that chest and shoulder stretch. That's it. And that's good. Let's get those shoulders stretched out now. So you just pull them back. Now you're going to fling it, stretch it, hold it for two seconds. Now fling it and catch the other side for two seconds. You hit about four or five times each side. Go at your own pace. If you need to hold for a little longer, hold for a little longer. You judge. If you want to hold it more than two seconds, that's fine. Make it at least two seconds. Three, four seconds, whatever. But we want it to be active, dynamic stretching where you're getting the body ready to move. You don't want to be holding this for 30, 40 seconds. That's not going to get the body ready to move. You're getting it ready to move, ready to work. So 
So it's active and dynamic stretching before the workout. At the end of the workout is when we'll do those static stretches for longer amounts of time, 30, 40, 45 seconds, whatever it is. One more time each side. Stretch it, stretch it, yes. We're gonna be pumping up the body, your chest, your back, your biceps, your shoulders, your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings, all are gonna be on fire. Tons of sets to get to, but we need to make sure we're properly prepared for it because once we get rolling, we're gonna be blasting through this stuff. Nice, get big forward shoulder circles while you're just kind of stepping in place, marching in place, start bringing those knees up even a little higher, whatever you feel comfortable with, just to get moving. And come back with the arms while you're still stepping. Getting that blood flowing. Yes, we're gonna go back to that walking spot thrust now, except you're not gonna pause at any of those positions. Just get, so it's just step, 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 and stand up. Then alternate now left, right, left, right, and come up. So you just get a little flow to it now, not like you did in the beginning where you're holding it. Beginning you were holding it to tighten up those muscles, to stretch it out, get the blood flowing, get the muscles working. Now we want the blood flowing even more. So just flow through those. There we go. Little, about three, four, three or four more of those. And we're gonna be ready to roll. When you're down there, hold nice and strong on your chest. Strong triceps. Hands directly down to your shoulders. Exactly where we need to be. And time. So again, if you don't have your dumbbells, you're gonna need a pair of dumbbells and a chair. Some kind of stiff chair, not a couch. You can't be squishy, you're gonna sink down. So some kind of chair or bench, stool, something that you can sit all the way down into like in a squat position almost. So a pair of dumbbells and a chair. I'll give you 10 seconds to get that. If you need to grab it, you should have it right there. Ready to roll. If you're waiting, we're just gonna wait 10 seconds. Just stretch whatever else you need to stretch. Just stay loose. Keep that blood flowing. Bouncing around, getting ready to get pumped up. It's Monday, so you know we're going to be doing some strength. The chair you're just going to need for a few sets here and there. You're not going to be using it a ton, so just have it handy nearby. All right, let's get started. So this first round is going to be just three movements. We're going to do six rounds of these three movements, all different ways. The three movements are just a chest press, a squat, and a bent over row. And we're going to do those in all different variations. Sometimes we're going to be doing double arms. Sometimes we're going to be alternating arms, and sometimes single arm, and we're gonna rotate every possible variation. But just to get started, we're gonna do double arm and double leg on all three of them. So start with a double arm, we're calling this the double round. Chest press, you just lay flat on the floor, grab your dumbbells, flat on your back on the floor. Double arm just means both arms are going together at the same time. Let's do it. Breathe it out when you're pushing up, into your nose coming down. Let's start, we started. Chest press, just barely graze your elbows to the floor. You have a bench, you can lay on a bench, you have a stability ball, you can go to a stability ball, whatever works for you. Breathe out as you're pushing up, into your nose down. We're gonna go for time on these, so if you get, if we haven't called that the set is over, and you feel like you're done, just put the weights down, recover for a second, and then pick them back up and get right back to work. So if you feel like you're out of endurance on the set, and we haven't called the end of the set yet, just get a quick little breather and go right back to it. This is the first set, first round, Easy stuff, just get started. Make sure you're coming down nice and slow into your nose, breathe out through your mouth as you push it up there. Drive it up there. First set of the day, first round of the day, just getting rolling. And time. Hop up onto your feet. So we're calling this the double round. So that means everything is just a normal set. Grab one of your dumbbells and just hold it straight up and down right here. Shoulders back, head up, chest out, and just a regular double leg squat because we are gonna be doing some single leg stuff and alternating leg stuff with that chair later. So right now, into the nose down, out through your mouth, coming up. Just pin that into your chest, into your nose down. Make sure you're not letting that weight pull you forward. It's gonna to try to pull you forward a little bit. Just keep that head up, chest out. There you go, Laney, nice. Side view so I can see the angle, perfect. Just come down a little bit slower, make sure you're not bouncing at the bottom. Resist. Sit back on your hips and heels. There you go, Jeff. Nice slow pace. Resist that down. In through your nose down. Breathe out. Drive it up. There we go. Control that down. Angie, try to come down just a fraction slower. Just control down. And without bouncing to the bottom, then come up a little faster than the way down. So make the way down be a little slower than the way up. And time, that's good. These first sets will be just a real quick one, just get you started. Double arm on the row means grab both of your weights. Leaning over at the waist, so look at my back from the side view. Parallel to the floor, 
totally straight. Rip it up, pause and squeeze, control down. Bring it up, pause and squeeze, control down. Let's do it, bent over row. Make sure that back is straight. Your face should be in the same direction as your chest, so don't look up with your neck. We're just gonna be out of alignment with your spine. So Danny, don't look up with your neck. Your face straight down to the floor. Just look straight at the floor. You don't wanna be here, you can even hear my voice. Now my voice is off. Now that I come to here, it goes to my normal annoying voice, not the weird annoying voice of mine. Back straight, hinge those shoulder blades together every time you come up, and then control it down. Bring those hands straight to the ribs, and then control down. Up with a little bit of speed and kick, pause, squeeze at the top, and control down. Again, if you need to stop, stop for a second, regroup, and then get back to it. Don't let that back start rounding. Keep that back totally straight and strong. And time. Put those weights down. So that's the first three. That was technically the first round. We're gonna be doing five more rounds of those three exercises, but every round is gonna be completely different. So this next round, the chest is gonna be single arm, the squat is gonna be double leg, and the row is gonna be alternating. See how we're now hitting three different ways of doing it. So, the, or sorry, the chest is gonna be double, the squat's gonna be alternating single leg, and the row is gonna be single arm. So let's start with the chest with double, we're going right to it, back to the floor. And if you have different weights, you know you can switch them at whenever you need. You have other weights. So back to the floor for that double chest press. Double chest press, breathe it out. Hands and rows down, throw it up, control it down, right there. There we go, keep rolling, keep moving. Nice. We're gonna go a little longer of a set now. And just like Jeff's doing, if you have a stability ball, feel free to lay up on the stability ball if you have the good balance for it. If you have a bench, you can do it on there. You don't always have to do the chest press on the floor. You can if that's all you have. But if you have somewhere else to do it, do it other place also. You'll actually got to get a little lower with the elbows. Nice. Make sure those elbows are tucked in just a little bit. You don't want to flare them out where you're chicken wing in your shoulders all the way up in the air every step from the side view. Breathe out, drive it up there to your chest, your chest, your shoulders, your thighs, all working. Hands and nose down. Breathe out as you shoot that up there. Yes. Let's go a few more. You all have different weights that are either light or medium, heavy, whatever it is. So make sure that everyone's going to get their work in. If yours is too heavy, you just stop for a second, shake it, grab those suckers back up, start throwing it back in the air, and resume the set. You just got to do it. You need to take a breather. Some of these sets are going to be longer if you have a heavier set. And time. So here's where you need your chair. We're going squats, alternating single leg squats. So you're going to sit on the chair, you can see I have one leg in the air, and I'm just going to stand up, lower myself down, and then switch legs. Stand up on the one leg, lower myself down, switch legs. So single leg, alternating squats. So each exercise is going to get its chance to do double, alternating, and single arm, or single leg. So this is considered our alternating squat. Again, you need a full repetition on each side. So sit up straight, and if it's too easy for you, grab a weight, but it really is gonna be plenty of work to even do without a weight. Come up, lower yourself down, and if you need help, just hold on to something. If you, need, if you, if you really can't do the single leg squat for whatever reason, all you're gonna do is a squat to a knee raise in the air. Squat to a knee raise if you wanna modify it, if it's not working on the chair for you. But give it a shot with the chair. Try it out first. You need a full rep on each side. It's single leg, these kind of take time, so it's gonna be a pretty long set. Make sure you're pushing through your heel, through your glute, through your hip. Drive up, without this leg touching the floor, just control down, then switch. Now look, this straight leg, I'm gonna go beside you. This straight leg, I can tip it to the floor if I have to, to give myself a little, a little boost. If you need a little help from that straight leg, just use the other, the straight leg to help you out. Yes. Let's get a couple more on each side. Keeping it strong. Push through that heel, through that hip, through that glute. One more each. If you're using a weight, you can just hold that weight in the center with both hands. You don't have to switch weight sides. Angie, you're switching. You don't even need to switch. Just keep it centered. If you want to use a weight, and I like it, we're choosing to use weight. Body weight's hard enough doing these single leg ones. Nice. And time. So the row is now going to be single arm because the chest was double, 
the squat was alternating to our third variation is single, so the row is going to be single. So it's going to put it in your right hand. You're going to lean over at the waist, put your left hand on your left knee, brace yourself, and just pulling this straight up. Pause the squeeze at the top, control it down. <sighs> Rip it up, pause, squeeze, resist down. Don't just bounce it around and go through flow. Even if your weight is light, bring it up strong, dig in the right side, your lat. Pause that squeeze at the top, dig in your back, and then resist it down. Rip it, <sighs> pause, squeeze, tight, tight, crush it, crush that weight with your fist, with your bicep, with your form. Think about your back, the hook behind your shoulder. The upper back, your lats, on the side. Pause. Oh, Lisa, lean over a little bit more, Lisa. There you go. It's a pretty strong movement, especially with single arms. So if you have a heavier weight or something, a heavier object, go for it on these. Adjust on the fly if you need to. You need something heavier. But if you're light, we're going to give you enough time to get it set in there. So we're going to keep rolling here. If you need a breather again, put it down, stand up straight, shake it out, and then get back down to work. If you need to, you start feeling too much strain. Now your lower back should be working. You need to learn to distinguish the difference between work and a little tiredness and a strain and pain, big difference. If your lower back definitely down here is working, just make sure your core is tight, that's gonna help support you. Pause and squeeze, Let's get two more on that side, two more on that side, rip it back, pause and squeeze, control down, last one, boom! Stand up straight in between, stand up straight, stand up straight, just straighten that back out. Roll those shoulders back, roll them, switch hands, switch stance. Let's get to it on the other side. You got to go left arm, left arm. So right hand is on the right leg, left leg is back. Left hand rips it back, pause and squeeze at the top. Good, Angie, kick that left leg back, a little further back. So have that right leg forward, left leg back. There you go. Keep your face looking down to the floor so your neck's not curling up. You want your face in the same, face in the same direction as your chest. So wherever your chest goes, your face goes with it. Make sure you're not curling your neck. That upper back straight, upper back pinched together. Angie, see if you can pinch your shoulder blades together a little more. Keep them pinched together. You don't want your upper back rounding over at all. See if you can pinch it. Think about if you had a pencil in between your shoulder blades, you're trying to pinch your pencil in between your shoulder blades every time you bring that weight up there. That's how they should be peeling together. Laney, hold your ground. Don't let that back start rounding. Get one or two more. If you need to reset, just stand up for a second reset. You just feel like you're starting to lose the position. And time. Put that weight down for a second. That's the end of round two. Just shake those arms out. It's not going to be much of a break. It's always re-exercise in a row. It's just enough. It's not even a break. It's just to put it down to shake it out. So this round, now your chest press is going to be the single arm set on each side. Your squat is going to be the double set. And the row is going to be the alternating set just rotating using those same three exercises in the same order and just rotating either the double, the alternate, or the, or the single arm. So we're going to start chest press, single arm. So it's just flat on your back. Take a side, whatever side you want to start with. Drive it up there. Let's do it. Tap your elbow to the floor. Throw it up. Resist down. Throw it up. Single arm chest press. Make sure you're exhaling while you're driving that up there. Lean back, stick your chest out, drive it up there. You're working your chest, your shoulders, your triceps. Nice. Jeff, on that ball, make sure it's just your head and your upper back on the ball, not the middle of your back. Your back of your head should actually be on that ball, supporting your neck. There you go. It should be a solid bridge. If you're on the, those of you on the floor, just your elbow should just graze the floor. Don't let your arm rest on the floor. And again, if your weight, if you have different, multiple weights, you need a heavier weight, go for it. Grab a heavier weight. Drive it up there. Into the nose down. Breathe out. Drive it up. Yes. This is just the first exercise of round three and just the first arm. Pat that elbow to the floor, drive it up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Into your nose as you're coming down, nice and slow. Tap the elbow, then drive it up. With a little exhale, out through your mouth. Two more on this right side, two more. Drive it, drive it, there's one, last one. Boom! Switch it over, right to the other side. Not even getting up, just right to the other arm. Gotta do the left arm, right to it. 
When you lay on the floor, make sure those knees are bent with your feet flat on the floor, bracing yourselves. Left arm, chest press. In through the nose, down, breathe out. Consciously, in your head, connect. The mind to your muscle. Think about working your chest, your shoulder, your tricep, helping to squeeze it out of the top. Keep it working, keep it moving. We're rolling. This is group A, round three. Single arm chest press, we're gonna follow the double leg squat and an alternating row. Now we rotate all of those. Control it, control it, resist down. The weight down should be like twice as slow as the way up. We're going for strength here today. We're getting some work in. We're gonna pump those muscles up. Drive it up there. If the weight's not challenging enough, if it's just way too light, hold two damn weights in your hand if you have to. Make sure it's a weight that's challenging you a little bit. So we're going a little longer on these sets. It looks like I'm seeing some light weights out there. I have to start picking up the couch. <laughs> <laughs> and time. We're going double leg on the squat. So that's both legs. Hold the weight of your chest. Chest is out. Same way we did on, on round one. In the beginning, just a regular double leg, holding the weight. If your weight's too light and you want more, hold one weight in each hand. You can hold it straight up and down. You can hold it across, whatever way it feels comfortable. I like holding it right here, elbows tucked in, keeps it nice and tight, close to your body. Really doesn't matter. Just mix it up. Get a feel for different ways of holding it. If it's too light for the squat, hold one weight in each hand. Challenge yourself. Make sure that weight's not pulling you forward. It's going to want to pull you forward. Laney, come down just a drop slower. A little bit slower. There you go. Don't let those upper back, upper shoulders round forward when you come down. There it is, right there. Hold it, fight it, fight it for that last inch of the bottom so it doesn't pull you forward. That weight's always going to try and pull you forward. There we go. Lisa, make sure you don't bounce to the bottom. Control it down there. Can't see the angle of your legs, but control looks good. Just don't bounce that bottom position. In through your nose coming down, out through your mouth coming up. Push through your heels, your quads, your glutes, all on fire, all working. Dig it. Resist down. There we go. Danny, get low, Danny. There you go. Nice. Let's get three more. Three more. Three more. Control that down. Resist it. Brace those abs. Those abs are going to hold you together. It's going to connect your upper and lower body and not let that weight flop you forward. One more. One more. Last one. And time. Alternating on the rows this round. So you're grabbing both weights. Both are going to move at the same time. Nice and slow with your back straight. Right here. We're going. We started. Just nice and slow. Control. Bracing your abs. So they never stop moving. It's not just one at a time alternating. They're both moving this time. Squeeze one side while you're resisting down with the other side. They're counterbalancing each other. Think of them like two trains crossing on a track. You're almost punching down to the floor. But resist it down. Brace those abs. Laney, don't start letting your back round. Rounding a little bit. Keep that straight. Your face down. So your face should be in the same direction that your chest is moving. All moves as one piece. Well, one's coming down, the other one's coming up. Lisa, see if you can move them both together at the same time. Not one at a time. Alternating still, but slow. There you go, but just now slower like that. Hands to the ribs. Squeeze that whole side of your back when you bring that up there. And listen, if you start losing it, just stand straight for a second. Straight that back out. You don't even have to put the weights down. Just straighten out and then come back down and reset, regroup. Angie, watch that upper back. It's starting around a little bit. Keep that straight. There you go. Reset it. There's nothing wrong with standing up for a second to reset. But if you start, if you start feeling it in your lower back or your upper back starts rounding, do what you got to do. You have to do it as often as you want. It doesn't matter. And time. Put those down. That was the end of round three. So this next round, put those weights down and just shake it. Stretch those shoulders, shake it, rotate the shoulders, stretch the quads. This is your only couple seconds of a chance to shake it out. Round four coming up is the, the next variation, where now the chest is going to be the one alternating. The squat is going to be single leg, so only one leg at a time on your chair. And the row 
is going to be double arm. So it's our fourth variation of this round. We're going to six rounds of this group before we go to group B. So this is round four. It's going to be chest press alternating on your back. We're going to go in 10 seconds. It's going to be on your back, both weights. Now alternating doesn't mean one gets a rest. One is up while one is down, and they just both move the entire time, crossing paths in the middle. It's alternating with both arms moving. Let's do it. We're up. We're rolling. Nice and slow. Let them cross paths. Well, both sides are tight. One side is squeezing up while the other side is resisting down. There you go. Resist. Just graze those elbows to the floor at the bottom. Complete control. Tap the elbow. Drive it up. Nice. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Control that breathing. It's a weird rhythm because you're always pushing something up. So figure out a breathing rhythm that works for you at this point. A little short stutter breath. If you were throwing punches, a little short exhale every time you push each hand up. We're going to go hard on this set. A little longer of a round. I want this alternating to pump out those arms. They're bouncing. So your body should feel like it's rocking and tipping side to side. Tighten up. Tighten up your entire body, head to toe, to stiffen up, to hold your ground. Give yourself a strong foundation for that alternating. Yes, a couple more, a couple more. Come on, Three Jeff. Five. Let's go. Keep pushing. There we go, Laney. Colette and Viviani, you better be moving. And time. Let's go to single leg squat. Pull out your chair. So it's going to be on just one leg the entire time. So we're going to be on our right leg to start. Sit up straight. So my left leg's never going to touch the floor. Unless I need to tap my heel, it's fine. You're just gonna stand up. This leg's gonna be in the air. Lower yourself down. This left leg is still not touching the floor. Right back up. Let's do it. Single leg squats. If you're rolling and it's pretty easy, hold on to one of those dumbbells. Nice, Sudir. Just lower down a little slower. Don't try to let yourself like fight for every inch on the way down. Try to roll onto there. You go right there. Just roll onto the chair instead of letting yourself crash on it. Nice resistance coming down. Resist, resist, get that head up and chest out the entire time. Don't let your body lean forward. And if you're cruising, it's feeling easy, grab a weight. Hold something in your hands, challenge yourself a little bit. But these are, should be pretty tough overall. That legs should start getting fired up a little bit. Drive it up there, brace those abs. Try to keep the upper body scraping down the whole time. Your body's gonna wanna tilt forward to get some rocking momentum, don't let it do it. Control it. And time, let's switch over to the left leg, left leg. Make sure the leg that's on the floor, you're pushing through that heel and through that glute. So that left glute right now should be driving you up there, the glute and quad, all through here. And then lowering you down and ease onto the chair without the right leg touching the floor if you can. Again, if you need to, just tip your right heel to the floor. That's gonna be a big boost, a big assistance for you if you start getting stuck. So that right leg should be straight. If you need to just tap that right heel to the floor to kind of dig it in to balance you out, do what you got to do. That would be the first modification. For some reason, it just stopped working. You thought you couldn't do any more for whatever reason. You would just go squat, knee raise on the same side. Just to simulate the same side going over and over again. Just make sure you're sitting on that hip and the heel and the glute of that leg. Keep it tight, keep it strong, strong glute, strong quad. Head up, chest out. In through the nose down, breathe out through the mouth, on the way up, control it. Let's get two or three more, keep rolling. And time, nice. Right to our row, our row is double arm this time, both arms together, like we did in that first practice warm up round. Both arms together, nice and slow. Bring it up, pause and squeeze, resist down. Up with a little bit of force, rip it, pause and squeeze, pinch this. This one's double arms, so you can really pinch those shoulder blades together when you bring it up, and then resist down. Keep it tight, keep it strong. 
Brace your core to support your lower back. Make sure that neck's not look at curling down. Keep it strong. Back is totally straight. Hinge those shoulder blades together. Hinge that pencil in between your shoulder blades again. Again, if you need to regroup, just stand up for a second. Straighten those shoulder blades out. Roll them back. Wiggle it out. Right back down. Good. Bend those knees a little bit, Sudhir. Roll those shoulders back. There you go, Jeff. Just get a split second pause at that top position on that squeeze. Every time you bring it up, little pause and squeeze each time. Get that extra squeeze in there. Make it work. Get that mind connection to your back. Squeeze it, pinch it. There you go. Make it make it harder than it really even needs to be. That's what we want. Get that extra squeeze, extra pump, crushing your back. And time. So that's round four with this first group. The next round. All we're gonna do is those three exercises, but the alternating variation of all three of them. So alternating for all three. So we're gonna start with the chest press in a couple of seconds. So just get set up. You need to change your weight. You need to sip water, do what you gotta do on the fly. But this is gonna now be the alternating variation of each. We've already done four different variations, rounds. This round is gonna be all alternating, all three exercises. So let's get on our backs. Back to that alternating chest press where they're both moving nice and slow. It's the same chest we did in round four. This is now round five, this first group. Alternating chest press on your back. Let's do it. We're starting. Let's roll. Lay on your back. Lie on your back. Lift the weights. Both, both arms moving. Nice and slow in control. While one's coming down, the other one's going up. Just tap your elbow to the floor. Find a breathing rhythm that you're always breathing out when you're pushing that weight up in the air. So we're doing the alternating version of all three of these in this round, round five. Keep it tight, keep it strong. So while one's coming down, your body's gonna wanna rock and tilt to the side, especially if you're on a stability ball. You don't got any more stability. This one on a stability ball is super, Challenge on your core and your hips and your glute. If you do this alternating on a stability ball, control it, control it, get that work in there. Challenge yourself, resist down, don't just let it drop. You're lowering it down, squeezing it, crush that weight with your hand. You need to make this stuff work for you. Don't let yourself just go through the motion and just winging it out there. Squeeze, crush it up. Like you're pushing up 100 pounds up in the air in each hand. That's how you need to grind it out. Push your back against the floor and stick your chest out, press it up. And time. We're going right to the alternating squat. Grab your chair right away. We're going right to it. On the one leg, stand up. Lower down on that same leg, then switch. Up, control down, switch. So start in the bottom position, push up. Lower yourself down with that one leg in the air and switch. So alternating on the single leg squats. You need to do a squat to a knee raise, just alternate, squat, knee raise left. Squat, knee raise right. If you're going on the chair, just ease onto that chair. Your body's gonna wanna, after you get like halfway down, gravity's gonna wanna just boom and dump you down. Fight it, fight it to the last freaking centimeter on when you're lowering yourself down. Control it down, lower yourself down, resist down. Looking for pure functional strength here. Real world strength. Control it, control it down. Don't let yourself plop onto the step, onto the chair. Couple more, couple more. We're going both sides here, don't forget alternating sides. And time, we're gonna go right into the alternating rows. Remember, this is the alternating round, round five. It's all the alternating. Both sides moving right to it. Abs tight, inch those shoulder blades together. One arm is squeezing while the other arm is resisting. Let's do it, right to it. Alternating bent over rows. Just don't curl that neck down. Just 
Straighten that back out. Colette and Viviana and Eliana, just we can't see you. I hope those backs are staying straight. And we're not taking any breaks and any rests. Good. Bend the knees a little bit, Laney. You better be squeezing. There it is. Control it. Good technique there, Sudhir. Just go a little slower. A little more squeeze on the way up. Squeeze it. Don't let the other one drop down so fast. A little bit slower with tempo just to get that extra conscious squeeze in there. Don't forget, you start feeling that in your back a little bit. A little more than just the work that you should be feeling. Just stand up straight for a second. Then back down to work. Get back down to work. This is finishing off round five. And time. We're going right into round six because it's only single arm, so you don't need much of a break. Right into single arm on all three. Now, single arm chest press, single arm squat, single arm row, and this finishes this group. So we hit every possible variation there. So single arm chest press, one arm pushing up in the air. Drive it up there, tap and drive. Control it down, resist down, throw it up, tap, drive, tap, drive, throw it up in the air. Just gonna bang it out. 15, 18, 20 reps, somewhere around there each arm. Lighter the weight, the more reps you should be getting in in this amount of time. Tap it and throw it up there. This is the sixth and final variation of this group A. Nice, control down, resist, throw it up. And time, right away, switch the other arm, right on the fly, you turn the other hand and start banging it out, chest press. Single arm. Single leg squats are coming up. So I really just came out to six sets of each of our core foundational exercises. This should be the foundation of most of your strength movements, most of your strength workouts. A push, a lower, a pull in either double arm, all same arms, or singles. We have so many variations here in a short amount of time. Drive it, tap the elbow and drive. Control it down. Don't let it bounce at the bottom. Just raise that elbow to the floor. And time, right away, if you care. Single leg on the squat. So just pick a leg to start with. Doesn't matter what leg you want to start with. Maybe whatever leg you didn't start with before. Or not, doesn't matter, whatever. Just the same leg in a row over and over. Grab the weight, you know you need weight for this, go with some weight. It's just that single leg. One leg is in the, on the floor, one leg is in the air the entire time. Single leg squat. We're just gonna hit about eight, eight to 10 of each side, that's it. Bing, bang, boom, moving on. Into the nose down, push through that heel, through that glute, drive it up there, strong quad, strong glute. Chest is out the whole time. Shoulders are square. Your body's going to want to tilt a little side to side, trying to fight it. Don't let it. Keep that posture. Here we go. Let's get one or two more on this side. And switch. Switch legs right to the other side. If you're doing, if you need a modification, don't forget to do regular squat with knee raise. But since we're on single leg, raise the same knee over and over. Lisa, just come a little down, slower down that squat. A little slower down and get a little pause at the top of that squeeze. You're on that one leg for a second. There you go. Then resist down slow. Nice. Drive up, pause and squeeze at the top. There it is, right there. Complete control. Back is straight, abs are strong, in through the nose down. Out to the mouth as you drive up on that single leg. One more, one more. And time, finishing off this entire round and all three of these exercises is just a single arm row to finish off the single arm round. Left hand, left knee, right leg is back, left leg is forward, so wait to drop that space to drop that weight in. Rip it up, pause and squeeze, control down. So the arm you're doing, that leg should be kicked back. And then the free hand should be on the forward leg, right above the knee. Pause that top squeeze, crunch in the side of your back, dig in the side of your back. Whole right side of your back, behind your shoulder. Strong grip, strong forearm, strong bicep, all supporting your back. There it is, pause and squeeze. 
It's going to hit about 12 to 15 each side here. Your hand is there supporting you. That's just, it doesn't mean you can't even rely on only your arm. Pretend your hand is not even supporting you. Embrace your abs and crush those abs and support your lower back. Don't just rely on that arm and let your abs go loose thinking that you can loosen up your core. Needs to stay tight. And time, stand up straight, just get out of position, stand up straight. Switch hands, left leg back, weight in your left hand, rib it back. Let's do it. Hand to the rib, pause and squeeze. Breathe out as you're coming up, exhale. Pause and squeeze, into your nose as you resist down. Control it down, don't just let it flop down. You're in complete control of that weight every second of the exercise. You're moving it around. It's not just flopping. Pause the top squeeze. Resist. Control down. Yes. And time. Put those weights down just for a second. That finished all of group A. We're going to go pretty much straight to group B. Group B is going to be standing shoulder press, deadlifts, and bicep curls. But again, it's gonna be all those different variations, all the same variations and rotations that we did of double, alternating, and single arm. Just to get those three movements going, we're gonna start with double on everything. So a double shoulder press, double arm, and double, or sorry, double leg deadlift, and double arm bicep curl. And then we'll get into all those rotations of variation between the double, the alternating, and the single. But this first round is just gonna be those three. So let's pick up our weights for our shoulder press. Let's go with our palms forward, elbows about 90 degrees, maybe an inch below 90. Knees are slightly bent, abs are strong. Breathe out, drive them up. Then come in towards each other, they don't have to touch. And control down. Drive it up, resist down. Double arm on the shoulder press. Make sure your knees are slightly bent. Make sure you're not arching your lower back. When you're pushing out overhead, your body's going to want to tilt back. Don't let it. Brace those abs. Slight bend in the knees. Strong legs. Think of this as a total body exercise. Your body is stiff and strong. A strong foundation in your legs. Of course, brace those abs as usual. Every exercise is an ab exercise. Breathe out. Push it up. Resist as you come down into your nose. Let's go two more. Two more. Good. Turn those palms out a little bit more, Jeff. And time, we're gonna go with double leg deadlift. We're gonna do single leg deadlifts. Leaning over the waist, driving up. Your shoulders are back, your head is up, chest out. So your knees are gonna be bending, bending a little bit on this one. Driving your butt back, and then just hinging at the hip, stand up straight. Lean over at the waist, the weights are right near your shins the whole time. So the weights are moving straight down while your butt's going back. Make sure you brace your abs. Don't let those shoulders round forward. Keep them pinched back together the whole time. Brace your core. Working the whole back side, hamstring, glute, lower back, all working here. Resist down. Squeeze your butt as you're coming up. Just unfold your hips to stand back up. That's all you're doing to come up, just hinging at your hips. A little less bend in the knees, Danny. Hold that upper back round when you're coming down. Jeff, roll those shoulders back just a little bit. Looks like they're coming forward a little bit. You can roll back the whole time. Even when you come down, that upper back should be solid, supporting you. So it's not pulling you down. Good day and again, just... We're going to go double arm on the biceps. Palms up. Look at the edge of the weights in front of my thighs. Both palms are up. My elbow is stuck to my side. So I'm going to drive, squeeze this up. And look, my elbow doesn't leave my side. Resist down. Just tap the front of my leg with the weight and right back up. So I'm not twisting them into the side. I want tension on that muscle this whole time. Squeeze up. Resist down. Just tap the front of my leg for that edge of the weight. Tap it. Squeeze it up. From a side view, my elbow never leaves my side. So look, I don't fist. See how my elbow's leaving the side? Your elbow's alongside your spine the entire time, not lifting up. And your body's not rocking forward or backwards. Pause and squeeze. Resist down. Back is straight, chest is out. Elbows glued into your side. If your weight is too heavy, just put two hands on one weight. If you have to, you can just hold one weight on the two ends and curl it here, or you can do bands. 
if your dumbbells you have with two heavy biceps. Because it is a much smaller muscle group than it is for the chest press or even shoulders. Danny, extend those legs a little more, or arms a little more at the bottom. Don't keep them so bent. Don't rock. Fight for it. Control down. Resist. Keep it tight. Tension. Tension. Squeeze up. No bounce. No momentum. All squeeze. All muscle. All strength. Time. And that finishes group round one of all the doubles. So now we're going to go to those rotating rounds. So this round, the shoulders are going to be double. The deadlifts are going to be alternating. So what you're going to do is hold your weight. Single leg deadlift on the right, come up and switch. Single leg deadlift on the left. So the deadlift's going to be alternating and the bicep is just going to be single arm. So again, the shoulders are going to be double. Deadlifts are going to be alternating. Bicep, single arm. Let's do it. Shoulders double. Drive it up there. Palms are forward. Elbows down to about 90 degrees. Knees are bent. Abs are strong. Let's do it. Breathe out and you drive up. Into the nose down. Out to the mouth coming up. Double arm shoulder press. Drive, drive, drive. Control it down. Yes. Nice. A few more, a few more. Shoulders got plenty of work with all those chest press sets. Now in round two of the shoulders. And good. Don't even put those weights down. Just hold them right in front of you, right here. And you're going to deadlift just on your right leg. Once you're all the way up, just switch legs. Alternate deadlifts. Holding both weights if you can. If it's too heavy, just put one down. But I think you can do both of those weights. Get that upper back straight. Pinch your shoulder blades together. Squeeze, squeeze, stand up tall. Yes. Angie, roll those shoulders back if you can. Roll the shoulder blades all the way back. You don't want them to start rounding. There you go. And keep it like that the whole time when you're down there. There it is, right there. So you should feel that upper back tight, even when you're in the bottom position. There it is. Perfect. And straight and strong. Brace those abs. That core is going to hold you together. Nice work, Laney. Keep it moving. Nice. Good straight back in control. <clears throat> Yosef, don't let those shoulders round. I know the, the, the weight's a little heavy. Focus on that upper back. Tight. Roll them back. Every time you come up, stick that chest out. Roll it back. Pinch, pinch, tight. Crush it. There you go. If you go a little slower, slow things down a little bit to keep it tight. Make sure we're kicking that leg up. Come on, full range of motion. And time, let's go to single arm on the bicep. So just one arm, palm up the whole time, elbow to your side, right arm first, whatever I'm going to do, it doesn't even matter. Whatever I'm going to do first, pause at top squeeze, resist down, tap the weight to the front of your leg, squeeze it up. One arm, drive it, resist down. Single arm. Squeeze, crush that, crush that, squeeze your bicep like it's gonna pop. Squeeze, you gotta get that mind to muscle connection. Think about the muscle you're working, but then also think about the rest of your body supporting that bicep. Even though it's such a small muscle you're working, think of your whole body working. So you have a nice, strong stance. Your legs are strong. You're tight. Your abs are strong, supporting you to keep your posture so you can put all your focus into squeezing that bicep. Rest your body is a tight, strong foundation supporting the movement of the bicep. Pause and squeeze. Resist down. Kick up. Pause squeeze. And resist. And switch arms, right to it, switch arms. Single arm of the bicep. Squeeze it, squeeze it, dig it up there and resist it down. Nice and strong, tight, tight, tight. Yes. Keep driving. Listen up while we're on this one, because we're gonna go straight to the next round, because after this single arm bicep, you do not need a break. Because also round three starts with single arm solar press. So round three, not yet, keep going with that bicep. Round three is gonna be single arm solar press, it's gonna be double leg deadlift, and then alternating biceps. So all the different rotation variations that we're going through. And right away, switch that weight to your other hand, go right to single arm solar press. We're going to round three, this second group. 
Palm forward, elbow out, shoulder nice and strong. Squeeze that arm to support it. Breathe out, drive it up, resist it down. And resist down. Nice, Lisa. Turn those palms out a little bit more. There you go. Squeeze. Yeah. Work. <laughs> right away, drive that up there. We got single arm on the shoulder press, double leg on the deadlift, and alternate arms on the bicep. Drive it up there, drive it up there. Dig, dig, dig. Don't lean to the side. When you're doing single arm on the shoulder, your body's going to want to angle to the side. Don't let it. Hold your ground by keeping those obliques tight, the middle of your core tight to support yourself. So you're straight and strong. Time, switch over to the other arm. Right away, right to the other arm. We're rolling, we're cruising. Keep out, drive it up there. Strong shoulder. Make sure you're not angling off to the side. 90 degrees with that arm. Resist down, into your nose down. Breathe out as you drive it up. Couple more, couple more. And time, keep that weight in your hand, grab your other weight, and we're going double leg on the deadlift. Right to it, leaning over the waist, with the shoulder blades pinched together, the weights go right alongside your shins, they're right next to your shins, right to double leg deadlift. Tight, keep it tight, keep it straight, keep it strong. Remember those shoulder blades, that upper back needs to be straight and pinched together the entire time while your core is in tight. So you don't want to round your upper back, you don't want to arch your lower back. Definitely don't want a combination of those two. So pull in the core so you don't arch your lower back, pinch your shoulder blades together so you don't round your upper back. And your face just follows your chest. Control it, couple more, couple more, two or three. Finish it off, finish it right here. And time, going right, the alternating biceps. You can either switch your weights or if you use the same weights, whatever, we're going alternating bicep curls. So look, they're both moving slow, but they're both moving the entire time. They never stop moving, but they're moving slow. So it's tight, tight. Just each one is gonna get harder and harder. Strengthen it up. One, it's like grinding out while one's coming down, they're crossing paths in the middle, the other one's resist, resisting coming down, the other one's squeezing coming up. Both elbows are glued into your side the whole time. Palms are up the entire time. Only come down so that weight taps in front of your thigh. There it is, there it is. Nice. Hey, Sudir, take your time. Control, Sudir, control. One at a time, take your time. Don't bounce that band. Don't bounce that band. Squeeze it. Control it. Well, let Viviana, Eliana, you better be pumping those biceps up. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Tight, tight, tight. Crush it. And time. Put them down literally for a second. Put them down out of your hands. Shake it out, back to break, shake for three, two, one. Scoop up those weights, and now we're on round four with this group. We're almost there, alternating on the shoulder press. This round, I want your palms in for this one. Elbows in tight and palms in, so we can get a nice, tight, smooth, palm in, neutral grip, alternating shoulder press. Just to switch things up on those shoulders, because they got a lot of work already. It's gonna hit it from a slightly different angle. Palms in, elbows straight to your sides, alternating sides. Don't forget, they're moving slow. When you have those weights, they're moving slow, control. Palms in, tighten up your core. Breathe it out, exhale every time you're pushing up. Find a breathing rhythm. Don't let that lower back arch. It's late in the game. Your back's gonna wanna lean back and arch. Don't let it, you gotta consciously squeeze that core. The more tired you get, the more you gotta focus on the technique. There we go, Laney. Nice, nice posture. Just go a little slower with those. Just let them grind out a little slower. Good, Angie. Don't drop those dumbbells too low. Keep them right over the shoulder. Right over the shoulder. There you go. Don't drop them too low. Good. Danny, if you can move them both at the same time, try to move both at the same time. Where they're both, one's coming up while the other one's coming down, if you can. 
it's a little too burnt out, then do just one at a time how you were doing, but still alternate. Whatever works, modify before you stop. And time, we're going single leg on the deadlift. So I want you to hold one weight in both hands. Unless it's too light, you can hold one in each. But you can probably just hold one weight, hold it straight down, and it's just single leg deadlift. So the same leg over and over. The other foot never touches the floor. Unless you need to just for a little boost or a little help or a balance. So it's just the same leg on the floor the entire time. In every variation of these. Single leg on the deadlift. Tight, tight, tight. Keep that back straight. Keep that core tight. Keep rolling. Single leg on the deadlift. Resist down. Control down. Just get a couple more on this leg. And switch legs right away. Go right to the other leg. That back stays totally straight. Dig that heel into the floor. Rip that whole foot to the floor. Foot is gripping the floor. Squeezing your glute of that leg that's on the floor, that's planted on the floor. Your hamstring, your glute, your lower back all working. Keep the core tight. It's gotta stay tight. Strong, solid. There you go. Resist down, control down. Nice. If you need that back leg that's going in the air, if you need to tip those toes to the floor to balance your out, you start losing it, do what you got to do. Nice balance, Laney. Nice work. Jeff, just keep that upper back straight. I can see a rounding from the front. I mean, I can see from here, it's rounding a little too much. Hands your shoulder blades back. Let your face follow your chest. And time. We're going right into bicep. Double arm. So both weights and resist down. Squeeze up, control, resist down. Kick it up and resist. Pause and squeeze. This is the end of this group B, round four. And we got one minute to get rounds five and six in, but I'm sure you have nowhere to be. Keep it, pause it, squeeze it, and resist it down. Dig, 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 dig. Nice. Pause that squeeze. Make sure the way down is sl slower than the way up. Just tap them to the thighs. Shoot. Breathe it out. Bring it up into your nose as you resist down. Squeeze it. Tight. Controlled. Strong. Nice. A couple more, a couple more. Burn those thighs out. And time. Put those weights down just for a second. We're just going to get, squeeze one more round in. It's going to be just the alternating round. I want to get alternating on all three. So it's going to be alternating shoulder, alternating deadlift, and alternating curls. We're going to burn out with these in about 10 seconds. Last round is burning these three out. It's going to take this fifth round. Alternating on all three. Let's do it. Let's go with those palms in again. It's late in the game. Just want to keep the shoulders a little safe. We did a lot of shoulder stuff here, a lot of reps. So just palms in. Squeeze it, pump it. Tight, tight. If your weights are light and you know they're light for a shoulder press, on this last round only, I want you to be super tight, but I want you to get a little pump to it. A little pump to it. If you know your weights are light. If they're not, then just keep that nice, slow grind. Because we want to get a good burn out here to finish. There you go, Jeff. Bring them down. Just don't slow forward. You bring them down. Bring them down. That's fine. But with control. You don't want them yanking down on you. Most injuries people get are from when they pick up the weight off the floor for the first time or when they put it down. It's where the most injuries happen with weights. Not even during the exercise. So when you're bringing those down for recovery, control it down. Don't let them flop you forward. If you're taking a breather in between here. And time. We're going right to hold those two weights in your hands, both of them. You're going alternating. Left leg deadlift. Stand up and switch legs. Right leg deadlift. Stand up. So you're doing alternating single leg deadlifts. Last alternating round of burn things out, finish things off. Complete control. After you completely stood up, 
then plant the other foot on the floor. Don't touch it until you complete the rep. So don't start stepping down when you're only halfway up. Brace that core, keep it tight, keep it strong. Into the nose down, breathe out, resist up. Yes, yes, yes. Pump those legs, those glutes, those hamstrings. Make sure those shoulders pinch, pinch together. Jeff, if it's starting to get too heavy, just put one weight in both hands. Let's see your back rounding again. I want you to round that upper back. There you go. At this point in the game, that's how you should be. You should be crumbling. This should be hard. Modify if you have to. Drop away if you have to. Do whatever you got to do to keep the technique. Nice. And time. We're going to alternating curl. What better to finish off with than some alternating bicep curls? It's not a strength workout if you don't do bicep curls. Even on chest day, you got to do bicep curls. On leg day, you got to do bicep curls. Pump them out. Pump, pump, pump. Burn them, burn them, burn them. Elbow stuck to your side. While one comes down, the other one's coming up. Pumping those biceps out to finish off. Keep pumping. It's the last set right here. This is it. It's the last set right here. And you're done. Squeeze, crunch, grind, and they're crossing past in the middle. There's tension on both arms the entire time. Don't crumble, don't crumble. Keep those elbows stuck to your side. Slight bend in your knees. Brace those abs. Back is straight. Grind, grind, tight. Five more each side. Four more each side. Tight. Squeeze. Three. Two more each. One more each. There's one. And one. Time. And put the weights down. Nice. Nice. Pump. Right away, let's get to a shoulder stretch. The same stretch we did in the beginning. You're just going to hold it now for 30 seconds. Right, right above your elbow. And just stretch that shoulder out. Hold it. We're going to hold it for at least 30 seconds. A lot of all those chest press sets. The alternating. The single arm. Then an alternate shoulder, double arm shoulder, single arm shoulder. You need to stretch those shoulders out. Hold it. It's on the same arm. We just want a nice, long, extended static stretch. We're going to ease out of this stretch in about five seconds. After you're holding it for this long, you need to just ease out of it. Don't want to snap out of it. Open that chest up. Fling it open. Grab the other side. Stretch it. It should feel pretty tight. Hold that stretch. But every second of the stretch, you should feel it loosening up a little bit. The recovery process starts right now. You should be having your post-workout shake. You should be ready or your meal, whatever you have. So you can get those nutrients right back into muscles. Right now is the time that your muscles are the most receptive to nutrients, to food, to, to calories. So this is your most important meal of the day. Your post-workout is your most important meal of the day. Hold that stretch tight and strong. Ease out. We're gonna go overhead for a tricep stretch because of all those different shoulders that did. So bring this up here without bending your neck. Grab your elbow and just bring it straight back and hold that for 30 seconds. You can, you can even push your hand. You have to press your head against it to get an extra little stretch, whatever. Just pull that elbow straight back as much as you can. Stretching all through here. Hold that there for 30 seconds. If you didn't know, coming up May 25th, hold that stretch while I'm telling you, is a six-week, the virtual six-week challenge. It's a weight loss transformation challenge. It is open to the public. Your friends, your family members, your coworkers can join. Ease out of that stretch. Ease out. Ease out. And then ease right into the other side. Bring that up there. Stretch that shoulder, that tricep. But if you are a full peak member, you are entered, you're going to be entered into this challenge for free. So just look out on the VIP page for a post about it, and you'll get an email about it in the next couple of days. So look out for that. You'll be sure to get in on it if you want in on the challenge. It's going to be completely free for, for members, for full members. You'll have the information sent to you in the next couple of days as we roll that out to the members. Completely free. It still doesn't start for two weeks, so don't worry about it. You'll get in on it if you're interested in joining, which you should be. All right, bring those arms down, and let's just get those quads stretched. We can do this, hold on if you have to. We can do this standing. Hold that for 30 seconds. Because at the same time, I want you still working on that balance. I want to get every bit of juice we can get out of you. Hold that there. Squeeze it. Heel to your glute. Also, don't forget, I'll keep holding that. Don't forget, every single workout, make sure you check me out on Facebook, on your personal page, not on the VIP group, because we're still donating to charity. The more you check in, the more we donate to the charities. This, is, this month is the Vitamins for Kids. So please make sure you're checking in on your personal page, on into the, to the P Physique location, 
The more you check in, the more we donate, not on the VIP page. And on that note, when you check in, tag a friend or two who might be interested in the six week challenge or maybe trying out some sessions here that you know could probably use this. He's out of that stretch and go to the other side. Hold Guys, that stretch also there. Remember, also remember every Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. on this link, you'll be able to have a meeting if you need help with nutrition or anything it is that you need. Who's Where the hell did that come from out of nowhere? I, I, that was very confusing. I don't know. I thought it was like a PA system outside or something. I'm like, what the hell? It's, Some it's creepy ass voice just pops up out of nowhere. Definitely a shadow. He's out of that quad stretch. So again, please, when you see the six week challenge links for the for the member for the non-members, please share that and tag all your friends, your family members, your coworkers. Referrals are the number one way that we can continue to keep adding more and more sessions. If you haven't seen, the schedule starting this week has several new sessions added. We're looking to keep adding more and to keep this online thing going because we don't no one knows when all this stuff is gonna change or go back to normal. And even when it does go back to normal, it's gonna be far from normal. So we're gonna keep this online stuff going strong because it's freaking awesome. Just me showing you doing these demonstrations. I did this workout earlier today. My shirt is soaked right now just from doing this. You could get in the best shape of your life if you're taking this stuff seriously and you just have the right mindset and, and the right reframing in your mind about doing this stuff at home. So awesome work. Let's finish off with a fist bump out on the screen, right on those hairy knuckles. And we are good. If you need help with anything, send me a message anytime on the, the Facebook page or email, messenger, whatever it is. Reach out if you help with your workout, with nutrition, with anything. I will talk to you later. Awesome job. Thanks for doing the workout. I will see you later. No excuse. Thanks, Steve. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks. See you later. Thanks, Great Steve. job, guys. Great job. Bye, see you guys Bye. later. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Thanks, Alex. Bye. 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 Bye.